All right, we're here with Kentucky Wesleyan men's and women's cross country head coach Tony Rowe. Coach, you were off last week. Uh, this week, you're back at it again with match or, or meet in Nashville uh, at the Dravecka Nazarene Invitational. Can you just give your thoughts and uh, expectations for both teams traveling down there? Well, first of all, we are uh, we're glad that we had some time off. Uh, you know, we had a, a couple of opening meets uh, a couple of weeks in a row and. Um, running with a lot of inexperienced runners. I think they learned a lot, but uh, we need some training time. So uh, the last several days, we've really pushed the mileage up. Uh, we've had uh, good workouts. And so we, uh, we are looking forward to uh, getting back into the competition this weekend. Uh, the Trevecca meet is gonna be interesting because it's gonna be all D2 meet, uh, teams. Uh, some of them are regionally ranked teams, and uh, it's on a challenging course down at Vons Gap uh, in the Percy Warner Park there in Nashville. Uh, I think it's going to become a very good meeting in the future. Uh, this year we have about 12 teams, and uh, so we're looking forward to competing again. And obviously, like I said before, you had the week off last week, and this week, of course, you have a, a meet, so you just discuss a little bit more about the uh, the mindset and preparation ways you're trying to prepare uh, both teams as you know obviously a big meet coming up this weekend yeah we uh, we've got to do a better job of, of staying uh, staying in the moment in races we uh, uh, as, as easy as a distance runner to uh, you know 25 minutes 30 minutes of comp of uh, you know concentration for the guys and you know especially as easy to kind of uh, you know, think about the finish line and forget about racing at the moment you, that you're in. And so we've got to, we've got to do a better job of that. We've got to do a better job of keeping our pack together. Uh, we try to practice uh, like we compete. We, you know, I tell them in practice, you know, try to find the, uh, you know, the meat within, within the practice, within the workout. And uh, so we're getting there. Uh, we're getting in better shape. That's that's going to help their confidence. But it's just a, it's just a real learning experience for a lot of our our young people now because they're so so new at this uh, at college distances. And like you were saying, uh, both teams are still relatively young. Um, but what are there a couple things that stick out in your mind that since both teams have gotten here back in August that they've already improved on already in about a month? Well. It, we were so pleased with uh, with our freshman men. Uh, I think they're kind of paving the way for the team. Uh, but uh, what I've noticed um, this week, and we do have a couple of injuries hurting us right now, and, and we need to get those guys back. They're veterans. But uh, uh, but we got some some people that uh, that are starting to run much better. They're coming back. Uh, Seth Applegate had a great workout this morning. I feel like he's going to race real well this this uh, this week, and we need guys like Seth uh, and uh, Logan Air to push it back up toward uh, the front of the pack. And, and Logan certainly has been up there pretty close. He's been as high as our second man, I think, in meets. But uh, he, uh, you know, it, it's it's just a matter of uh, again, uh, you know, getting some experience under the belts, uh, and then the veterans pulling up and doing their job. And I think we'll be in pretty good shape. All right, Coach, thank you for your time, and good luck this weekend. Thank you.